Hello everybody. Today I'll be preparing chicken kebabs. This was most requested video and I finally got to prepare it. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and also like this video and comment on my video. I will also be posting my blog link and Facebook link in the about bar below this video. Do follow me on both my social networks. To start off with, what I've done is I've taken curry cut chicken. I have washed the chicken thoroughly. Pat it dry and added it to a mixing bowl. And to the chicken, I've added about a cup of yogurt, turmeric powder, and half of a lime juice. Now this is going to be my first stage of marination. Uh, what this is going to do is the yogurt is going to soften the chicken, and uh, turmeric acts as a antiseptic or an uh, it removes all the germs from the chicken, and the lime will definitely soften the chicken. So. When you're going to prepare chicken kebabs, it will be nice and juicy and it will fry fast. The chicken will cook fast. Now this uh, stage of marination is going to be for 2 hours. I'm just going to place a cling film on top and uh, place it in the refrigerator and allow this to marinate for 2 hours. Now after 2 hours, what you need to do is uh, remove this chicken back from the refrigerator. Drain all the excess uh, yogurt. We are not going to use that yogurt because uh, that's going to have a little bit of that uh, chicken smell in it and it's going to go soggy if you're going to use that yogurt. So just drain all that yogurt and I've added the chicken to a different bowl. Now I'm just going to discard this yogurt marination. And to the chicken, I'm going to start with the second stage of marination. I've added ginger garlic paste. Now I'm going to add uh, chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder and garam masala powder. If needed, you can definitely go ahead and add uh, food coloring. I did add about a quarter of a teaspoon of orange food coloring and uh, salt as per taste. Now, this stage of marination requires minimum 3 hours, maximum 8 hours. If you keep this marination for 8 hours in the chicken and uh, you allow this to marinate thoroughly overnight, then the next day you can prepare the chicken kebabs and it will taste really good and it's going to be nice and succulent. Now I'm just going to place the cling film. I did prepare my chicken kebabs the next day. So I placed this back in the refrigerator and allowed this to marinate for 8 hours. Now after 8 hours, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mixture of corn flour, a little bit of chili powder and uh, all-purpose flour mixed together and uh, along with one egg, one beaten egg. I'm just going to give this a good mix again and start frying them out. The recipe in detail is posted on my blog. Blog link will be posted in the description box below this video. You can also follow me on my Facebook fan page and uh, you can print my recipe from my blog and uh, prepare this recipe. Now I've gone ahead and heated oil on a medium flame. Once I finish mixing the chicken, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in hot oil and uh, start frying them out. The recipe is so simple. As you can see, while I'm frying the chicken, um, the coating or the outer cover, it's not uh, going to um, fry and it's not going to drop inside the oil. So it's nicely stuck to the chicken and it's nicely frying at this point and the chicken remains nice and juicy. So do try this recipe. For the detailed recipe in text, you can go ahead and print it from my blog. I'll post the link in the description box or the about bar below this video. Do visit the about bar. And once you finish frying this, just need to drain the oil, excess oil, and you have to serve it up. This tastes totally yummy with just a little bit of uh, chaat masala sprinkled on top with some lemon wedges and some onions. It's a yummy dish. Do try this. You'll definitely like it. Though not, it's restaurant style. It's my way of cooking. And uh, at home, everybody appreciates this uh, chicken kebabs. I will see you soon with the next recipe. Post all your comments and like this video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.